dear students i would like to share with you today is the general characteristics of oxygen family part 2 myself dr dignavargis contents electronic configuration atomic size ionization energy electronegativity metallic character or electropositive character oxidation states allotropy atomicity melting and boiling points electronic configuration we know the members of the oxygen family first member is oxygen then sulfur selenium tellurium polonium and livermorium and the atomic number of oxygen is 8 mass number is 16 and the electronic configuration is helium 2s2 2p4 sulfur atomic number 16 atomic mass number is 32.06 and the electronic configuration is neon 3s2 3p4 for selenium atomic number 34 mass number 78.96 electronic configuration is argon 3d10 4s2 4p4 next element is tellurium atomic number is 52 mass number 127.60 configuration is krypton 4d10 5s2 5p4 and for polonium atomic number 84 mass number 210 electronic configuration is xenon 4f14 5d10 6s2 6p4 and for the last member livermorium the atomic number is 116 the mass number is 293 and the configuration is radon 5/14 6d10 7s2 7p4 from this electronic configuration the valence shell electronic configuration of the members of oxygen family is ns2 np4 there is two electron lesser than to complete its octet atomic size atomic size is expressed in terms of atomic radii we know the radius of a chemical element is a measure of the size of its atoms usually the mean or typical distance from the center of the nucleus to the boundary of the surrounding shell of electrons atomic radius is equal to the half of the distance between the nucleus of atoms for oxygen the atomic radius is 66 picometer for sulfur 104 picometer for selenium 117 picometer for tellurium 137 picometer for polonium 146 picometer and the uh, livermorium 183 picometer on moving down the group from oxygen to livermorium one extra shell of electrons is added in each step with the increased nuclear charge and therefore the atomic radius increases significant increase in atomic radius from oxygen to sulfur from the table we can see for oxygen only 66 picometer is its atomic radius and for sulfur it is 104 picometer so there is a large difference in atomic radius from oxygen to sulfur but there is only a small difference occurs from sulfur to livermorium this is due to the fact that the shielding effect of the n minus 1 s2p4 electrons in sulfur is large from oxygen to sulfur the shielding effect is large 
and the shielding effect of the n minus 1 d10 electrons in selenium as well as tellurium in the case of selenium there is 3d10 and for tellurium 4d10 electrons that cause the shielding effect and for the polonium n minus 2 f14 4 f14 and 5d10 electrons in polonium is poor we know shielding effect describes the attraction between the an electron and the nucleus in any atom with more than one electron the shielding effect can be defined in terms of a reduction in the effective nuclear charge on the electron cloud due to the difference in the attraction forces on the electrons in the atom so there is decrease in atomic radius from top to bottom of this group and this is due to the fact that first one is increase in the number of shells in each step and the second one is the shielding effect ionization energy ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from the neutral atom in its gaseous state from the table we can see for oxygen it is about 1310 kilojoule per mole and for sulfur 999 kilojoule per mole for selenium 941 kilojoule per mole and for tellurium 869 kilojoule per mole and for polonium 813 kilojoule per mole the ionization energy decreases down the group due to gradual increase in atomic size ionization energy decreases from oxygen to polonium this is due to the increase in atomic size why ionization energy of group 15 elements that is nitrogen family is higher than group 16 elements this is due to the highly stable half filled configuration of p orbitals the valence shell electronic configuration of group 15 elements is ns2 np3 in the case of group 16 elements we know the electronic configuration in the outermost shell is ns2 np4 therefore the lower energy is required to remove an electron from an isolated group 16 at sharp decrease in ionization energy from oxygen to sulfur in the case of oxygen ionization energy is higher that is 1310 kilojoule per mole and for sulfur it is below 1000 that is 999 kilojoule per mole this is due to the fact that atom increase in the atomic size and increase in the shielding effect of s and p electrons in the case of sulfur due to the poor shielding effect of offered by the n minus 1 d10 electrons of selenium and tellurium as well as n minus 1 d10 and n minus 2 f14 electrons of polonium in the case of oxygen higher ionization energy and from sulfur to polonium it found to be decreases this is due to the fact that atomic size increases and the shielding effect is poor because of the n minus 1 d10 electrons and n minus 2 f14 electrons of tellurium selenium and polonium nuclear attraction is more but increase in atomic size is not very great from sulfur to polonium therefore decrease in ionization energy from sulfur to polonium a sharp decrease in ionization energy from oxygen to sulfur 
occurs due to the increase in atomic size and also increase in the screening effect of S and P electrons. But in the case of uh, uh, a sharp decrease from sulfur to polonium is due to the fact that even though the nuclear attraction is more but there is atomic size also increases and poor shielding effect therefore there is minimum energy required to remove an electron from these atoms. So the ionization energy, the order of ionization energy in oxygen family is oxygen greater than sulfur greater than selenium greater than tellurium greater than polonium. Electronegativity. Electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 and sulfur 2.5 for selenium 2.4 tellurium 2.1 and polonium 2. Oxygen is the second most electronegative element among all the elements. We know the first electronegative element is fluorine. Its value is 4 and the electronegativity value decreases from oxygen to polonium. There is a large decrease from oxygen to sulfur that is 3.5 to 2.5 this is due to the fact that increase in atomic size we know the radius of atomic radius of oxygen is only 66 picometer and for sulfur it is about 104 picometer so there is a large increase in atomic size and there is a small decrease from sulfur to polonium that is about 2.5 to 2 this is due to the increase in atomic size also one of the factor and also there is poor shielding effect compared to sulfur so these are the most common reason for the decreasing value of electronegativity from sulfur to polonium that is increase in atomic size and poor shielding effect so the electronegativity order of oxygen family is oxygen greater than sulfur greater than selenium greater than tellurium greater than polonium the least electronegative element in the oxygen family is polonium and the most electronegative element among ox uh, the members of group 16 elements is oxygen. Metallic character or electropositive character that means an atom has a tendency to lose electrons and forming a cation. In the case of oxygen family the electropositive character or metallic character increases from oxygen to polonium. This is due to the fact that decrease in ionization energy from oxygen to polonium. We know the maximum ionization energy value among these is oxygen and its value is 1310 kilojoule per mole and for polonium it is about 813 kilojoule per mole. So polonium has a maximum tendency to lose its electron and forms a cation. So most uh, metallic character showing element among oxygen family is polonium and the least one for oxygen. And the other reason is electronegativity. Electronegativity decreases from oxygen to polonium. For oxygen it is 3.5 and for polonium it is only about so these two factors that is ionization energy and the electronegativity value for polonium is lesser when compared to other elements so it has the maximum metallic character from this 
we can say that oxygen and sulfur act as known metals and selenium and tellurium act as metalloids metalloids means that has a that shows properties between metals and non metals and the polonium is a metal but it is radioactive and short lived one oxidation states electronegativity of oxygen is very high that is 3.5 it shows mainly negative two oxidation states in ionic and covalent compounds metal oxides are ionic in nature oxygen shows oxidation states other than minus 2 is oxygen shows in negative 1 oxidation state in peroxides in the case of hydrogen peroxides that is h2o2 is its molecular formula and we know hydrogen is plus 1 oxidation state so it is plus 2 and here only minus 1 so minus 2 is equal to 0 so the oxidation state of oxygen in peroxide is minus 1 and in the case of oxygen in superoxides that is ko2 in the case of ko2 we know potassium is the alkali metal and having plus 1 oxidation state and for to neutralize this minus half is the oxidation state for oxygen so oxygen shows minus half in super oxides oxygen shows positive oxidation states in compounds with fluorine that is oxygen shows o2 plus 1 in o2 f2 dioxo di fluoride in the case of fluorine which is most uh, electronegative element so it has the minus 1 so fluorine is here minus 2 so oxygen has the tendency to form plus 1 oxidation state so oxygen shows positive oxidation state in compounds with the fluorine in the case of of2 oxo difluoride in this case fluorine is in minus 1 oxidation state oxygen shows plus 2 oxidation state in of2 sulfur selenium and tellurium also exhibit oxidation state minus 2 in their compounds with alkali and alkaline earth metals in the case of compounds of alkali and alkaline earth metals sodium sulfide in this sodium has the plus 1 oxidation state and sulfur is minus 2 oxidation state and for the selenium compound the same effect minus 2 is for selenium and minus 2 for tellurium so sulfur selenium tellurium also exhibit oxidation state minus 2 in their compounds with alkali and alkaline earth metal ions sulfur selenium and tellurium show plus 4 oxidation state with oxygen in the case of oxides sulfur oxygen is the most electronegative element so oxygen is minus 2 here therefore sulfur exhibit 
plus 4 oxidation state and the same plus 4 for selenium dioxide and same plus 4 for tellurium dioxide so sulfur selenium and tellurium shows plus 4 oxidation state with the oxygen in the case of sulfur selenium and tellurium also show plus 6 oxidation state with the most electronegative element fluorine here the fluoride compounds that is SF6 SCF6 TEF6 in these cases in the case of sulfur hexafluoride fluorine is the most electronegative element so it shows only negative 1 oxidation state so sulfur in sulfur hexafluoride the oxidation state is plus 6 and the same oxidation state for selenium hexafluoride plus 6 and for tellurium plus 6 in tellurium hexafluoride so in the case of sulfur selenium and tellurium exhibit minus 2 with alkali and alkaline earth metals and in the case of oxides they exhibit plus 4 oxidation state and with the most electronic element like fluorine it exhibits plus 6 oxidation state so the oxygen family members exhibit various oxidation state oxygen shows minus 2 minus 1 minus half plus 1 plus 2 oxidation states and sulfur shows minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation states and for selenium minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation state and for tellurium minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 oxidation state polonium plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation state in the case of oxygen and other members in this group 16 elements the outermost electronic configuration is ns2 np4 there is only two electron lesser than the inert gas configuration so the most common oxidation state among these elements is minus 2 we know polonium is the most metallic character so it uh, shows positive oxidation state other than negative ones so the bonding in plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation states are primarily covalent so there these oxidation state exhibits mostly in covalent compounds but we know metal oxides are most commonly in ionic compounds all the elements have vacant d orbitals in their valency shell except oxygen in the ground state they have two unpaired electrons so all the elements in the oxygen family can form plus 2 oxidation state elements having d orbitals in the chalcogens one of the p electrons goes to the vacant d orbital of the same shell thus making four unpaired electrons available for chemical bonding this accounts for plus 4 oxidation state thus sulfur selenium tellurium polonium are tetravalent in their typical compounds with fluorine or oxygen in the case of sulfur selenium tellurium polonium they have vacant t orbitals therefore 
this one of the p electron can excited to form ns2 np3 nd1 therefore there is four half state so it can exhibit plus 4 oxidation state on the further excitation these electrons also get unpaired thereby making the six unpaired electrons this explains the plus 6 oxidation state and selenium 6 tellurium 6 act as strong oxidants here one of the s orbital electron is excited to nt orbital so there is six unpaired electrons so this explains the plus 6 oxidation state so the elements exhibit minus 2 minus 1 minus half and plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is for oxygen there is no and d orbital other elements having d orbital so they can exhibit more than plus 2 oxidation states that is plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation states in their oxides and uh, fluorides allotropy allotropy or allotropism the word is come from the greek word allos which meaning other and tropos meaning the manner of form allotropy is the property of some chemical elements to exist in two or more different forms in the same physical state allotropes of the elements the group 16 elements show allotropy oxygen shows the main allotropic forms are or dioxygen and ozone and the other ones are singlet oxygen one of the two metastable states of molecular oxygen and tetroxygen or for another metastable form and solid oxygen that is existing in six variously colored phases of which one is O8 and another one is metallic. Allotropy of sulfur, yellow rhombic sulfur or alpha sulfur, monoclinic sulfur or beta sulfur, plastic sulfur or amorphous sulfur or gamma sulfur. Selenium, amorphous selenium, brick red amorphous selenium and crystalline varieties of selenium is rhombic selenium monoclinic selenium and gray selenium or metallic selenium tellurium there is also crystalline tellurium forms and amorphous tellurium forms so these are the various allotropes of oxygen family members atomicity Atomicity is defined as the total number of atoms that constitute a molecule. Oxygen was diatomic molecule O2. It is the atomicity 2 and sulfur, selenium te and tellurium are octaatomic molecules. Their atomicity is 8 and are represented as S8, Se8 and Te8 having puckered ring structure. melting and boiling points from the table we can see the melting and boiling points of the members of group 16 melting and boiling points increases from oxygen to tellurium the large difference between the melting and boiling points of oxygen and sulfur for oxygen it is minus 218 degrees celsius and for sulfur it is 120 degrees celsius its melting point and boiling points of oxygen is minus 163 degrees celsius and for sulfur is 445 degrees celsius that reflects the difference in their atomicities for oxygen only atomicity is 2 and for sulfur it is 8 oxygen exists as diatomic molecule 
and sulfur exists as polyatomic molecule that is SA puckered ring. Oxygen is a gas under ordinary conditions while other elements are solids. So their melting point and boiling point increases from oxygen to tellurium. Thank you for your interest and attention.